Hi, welcome to my video. In this video, I will explain how to create coronavirus time series map. By following this tutorial, we will learn how to get and transform the data, and then plot the data on the map, and the last one is visualize the time series of coronavirus case. Okay, let's get started. The data for this tutorial can be found on GitHub through this link. You can also find this link in the in the video description. And this is coming from John Hopkins University by the Center for System Science and Engineering. And this is the link for the data CSSE COVID-19 data. So you just click this one. And because we are interested for time series, so click this time series link. And here we can find some data set. For example, I will use time series COVID 19 dead global. So I click this one. This is the data we can see here province, country, latitude, longitude, and a series of these columns. If you read the blog, we cannot use this data directly because it's not matched with time manager plugin in QJS. So we have to transform this data and then this dead column will be just a single column. For that, we need the row link. Click the row button and get this link, just copy this link. Now let's move to Python part. So this is the code to transform the data. Paste the link here. If you use another dataset, make sure to change this row URL variable. And then set the output pad here. So this is mine. Make sure to change with yours. And that's it for Python. Now let's execute the code. Okay, it's finished. Let's open it. This is the output data. You can see here date, country, province, latitude, longitude, and number of date. Now we are done with the first step. Next, let's move to QJS to plot the data. For that, open QJS. For this tutorial, I'm using QJS 3.12. Okay, let's now add the data with from layer. Select add layer and then add the limited text layer. Browse to the output data and make sure the S field is long and Y field is large. And this is the sample of data, and everything is looking good. Select Add button and close. And we are, we can see here the the dead case of coronavirus all over the world. To make it more meaningful. At the basement, for, for example, I use Tire Plus plugin and then I select Carto DB. Dump. 
and move it to the bottom so to make it more professional I will change the coordinate system to this one apply and ok ok we are finished with plotting the data on the map now let's visualize the time series of coronavirus dead case for that we are using time manager plugin from plugin select time manager and then open the settings add layer this is the output data start time is date and time same as start and then check accumulate features ok check looping animations and then press ok oh we can we get an error here it is that invalid time layer error so the the date format must be one in this uh, format so we have to change it go back to our spreadsheet and change the format for the date column so this, is, this is the date right click and format cells then select customs set it to your month and day next don't forget to save it yes okay now let's get back to QJS open the time manager setting again add layer check these accumulate features and looping animation then post ok button ok before playing this time series make sure to change the time frame size to days because we will render the case date by date and then play button and we can see now the time series of coronavirus dead case all over the world okay now let's make it more beautiful we want to uh, change the size of the marker based on the number of dead so the marker size will get bigger as the dead number is increasing for that right click the output layer choose properties and select this symbology color features select a marker for example i use this one then i change the color to yellow and also for the stroke color I set to transparent and for the size I will use the logarithmic scale so for that select edit and I use the natural logarithm learn and then select the end number of that color okay and last one is set is opacity to 30 percent apply and okay then play it again so we can see the the size of the markers is now changed based on the 
that case if we see here uh, there is a sign and we don't this for that we can just delete it we open settings and then choose this one time display options and delete this part Okay. okay, and then okay. Now the time is gone. Okay, now let's play it from the starting date. Okay, we can see here it's begin in Wuhan, China, and it's spread around China. And now it's increasing all over the world. Okay, that's all this tutorial how to create coronavirus time series map. I hope this is useful for you. And if you like this video, please give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and bye bye